Alright folks, this is a, a Premier RV. Ultra light. 26R BPR. Sorry, I don't need it by heart because we're at the RV show. First thing you do when you walk in is you notice this is extremely modern. Um, the colors and everything kind of gives it away. One thing that you will notice is that this has a lot of room and it's very obvious that this is a tip out or a slide out because um, it expands when you park to give you this extra lane way of space. Otherwise, this will all be in here and you have very tight space, right? So when this goes in, then it'll move to about here, which still gives you access to this RV when you're driving in the park mode. So if you turn there, there's a door. You would go in, let's just say, uh, during a pit stop to Walmart, you would go in, you, would sell, you have access to cook, you have access to get your drinks, you have access to wash your hands, and all these cupboards underneath here. Can I, can you move over here and show the cupboards? Okay, cool. That's nice. It is nice. See how much storage is. It's like kitchen ca cabinets. Look at this fridge here. Like, look, it's like wood and stuff. Look at this fridge. This is not an RV fridge. Well, it's not. It's RV like fridge. a full size fridge. It's an RV fridge, but it's not a a normal RV fridge. This is a legit. No, this is like fridge. a big fridge. Yeah, it's not your regular, regular. What is it, Dometic? Whatever uh, fridge that is. I don't know. Yeah, this is a General Electric, right? So it's not your typical fridge you normally see. Okay. But that's really cool. If you go here, I don't know what this is. Well, let's check it out. You have your drawer, a nice drawer. This is your AC panel, I assume. Yep, breaker panel, very nice. And over here is your dinette. This turns to a bed, so you would have one, two sleeping here. Oh, so you could have kids sleeping here, because that would be a yeah. bed. And this is a bed too, in all likelihood. Yeah, it's a bed. It's a sofa bed, an actual sofa bed. No. Yeah, it's a sofa bed, look. Oh. It's not a scissor bed, it's a sofa bed. So this RV is more akin to a home than an RV, which is very interesting. Well, I want you to pan into the, the, the shower here. So you have a regular shower. You have a regular shower that is round and it fits quite a bit of things and people in there. So you can have your shampoo over there. It's in the middle. You have your sink, four plugs. Both GFI, GFCI, and in here you have a deep closet. Wow, look at that. Look how deep that is. Put all your toiletries and towels and everything. Look at that. Look. Whoa. That's deep. And on top you have your roof vent and two lights. And check this out. The heat is in the bottom. You have this cool compartment, and that I assume is AC on top, because the vent is right there. You have a tiny skylight, which is great, because a big skylight means more maintenance, usually at least. Yeah, so this is it. Let's go to the master bedroom and check it out. All right, the master bedroom in the back has some compartments for stuff. Well, there's a walk around at least a little bit, yeah. Yeah, there's a walk around. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's just enough, right? I mean, this is pretty typical for RVs. Walk-arounds are going to be small. Um, you have drawers. Yeah. You it's have a, a, a TV mounting bracket right there, right? Sliding door. One second, one second. I want to see these drawers. Very nice drawers. No speakers up here. Mind you, you got plugs back there, huh? which is cool. And sliding door. It's a barn door. Check it out. That's very nice. Very nice. There's also a skylight up here and two lights and you have your cable connections up there. Why would it be there when there's a TV mount bracket here? Well, you would put the wires up here across maybe the edge That's so it's so hidden, right? They should have just put the thing here. Yeah, they should have, but huh, yeah, they should have really. Why would they make you do that? Well, one flaw. Let me see something. The back of the bottom of the bed usually has stuff. Yeah, there you go. Let's see it. Compartment under the bed for storage. Quite nice, huh? Yeah, pretty okay, cool. You have your controls here. You got your controls. This is different. It's a Keystone RV company. 
Um, so Keystone makes this. You have your ceiling light, porch light, water pump. Uh, you have your awning, guide room one, guide room two, glide room one, and glide room two. What is? Is there a double slide in this thing? Why is there two slides? I don't know, Ashley. Looking here, water here on and off with temperature and a battery. Cool. Look at the stove. So the stove here. Yeah, this is going to go that. Ooh, that's it blocks, nice. This, it blocks this from getting dirty. Oh, no. It's a splash guard. Nice. Yeah. And the oven Ooh, is a, it's a Furion oven. It's a pretty standard looking oven on the inside, but the outside oh, looks nice. crazy Nothing high tech. That is so cool. You know, one of the most impressive things in this place, this RV is the fridge. That's a real fridge, yeah. not a cheap RV fridge. Mm -hmm. Like you can probably stay in here for like a whole month. Probably. Yeah, you cut here and up there. Oh, look, quartz. Yeah, this is quartz. Microwave. Oh, wow. Okay, I want to mention that there's Heater vents, a heater vent there, plugs. This is the carbon detector. You have your AC thermostat and heat thermostat. Drawers with an LED light, no plugs. Anything I'm missing here? That's it. No, that's it. Okay. How about the windows? This is just standard, well, standard blinds. Oh wow! So what's really cool about this one is there. Um, often when I park at RV places, I have bring in a small electric heater from Walmart that I bought. Why? It's because if you use the RV heater, it ends up using um, propane. If you're going to park a week, you're likely going to drain all your propane in the winter. So what I do is I bring an RV heater, go to the campground, plug in and use the, heat, the electric heat to heat the RV. What's cool about this one is there's a built-in fireplace with electric heat already. Meaning you don't got to bring one or plug anything in. So that's really impressive. Like, this RV has everything. I'm so shocked how good it is. I'm wondering what the specs are. Let's go check it out. Okay, so that's the floor plan. Okay, so the weight is 6,438 pounds. It is half ton towable, technically. Something this big, I would want something like a one ton, just for the weight. What, half ton? Oh. It's technically half ton towable due to the weight, but the length is 32, right? Which doesn't make sense because that says 26. So how's the 26 model, 32 in feet? I don't know if that's accurate, man. That's wrong. Oh, okay. Well, this is 63,990. Yeah. Oh, let's see. If, let's check out the outside oh, kitchen. Okay, you have a fridge here too. Nice ice fridge. This is an outside kitchen. Yeah. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And there's a electric awning on the top. An LED la LED strip. And over here, you have your. Look, check, check it out. Endless hot water. This unit has an on-demand hot water heater. Cool. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. You have your connections here for satellite, cable TV, and a plug. Outside power. This is actually really cool. Head to the back. Head to the back. Okay, so you got your ladder that brings you to the top. That's cool. They even got the uh, corner sprouts for water in there. And lastly, if you look there, it says camera ready. There's already a spot for a backup camera, which is very cool. You got your spare tire, standard stuff, and your sewer holes connector in, the, in here. I'm not going to pull it out. That's where you put it. There's a TV mounting bracket on the outside. Well, that's why they, it makes sense because that's why they have the satellite and the cable thing. Oh, so I guess you would mount your TV and just leave the mount there, I guess, yeah. the rails. So you got a fold through compartment. You can put like fishing rods and stuff like that. I appreciate these filters. And uh, there's a couple of things over there, so let's check out what, that is, what it is. Okay, so we got your electric jack, LED light, 
kind of nice to have these. Yeah, two propane tanks. And dual batteries. Dual batteries? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. It's pretty nice, actually. It's, I like how they, it's kind of covered a little bit. Batteries? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. But it's already covered in a box, so it's okay. Usually it's just in the front, right? Instead of the, the back, so you're right. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The rest is pretty standard stuff. It's nice that there's an LED uh, strip there because sometimes you need light at nighttime. And the other side is pretty much empty stuff, I think. That's huge. It is. That's really big. 